Yeah, I would like to know, in your opinion, what is the biggest cause for failure in, in new restaurants and opening a new restaurant? And if you could give me just one tip, what would it be? Biggest cause for failure in restaurants is not making money. Now, I say that tongue-in-cheek. But most of the time when a restaurant is failing, it's because the person in charge has not engaged in making money. They don't wake up passionate about making money. They don't know the tips that are required, the steps that have to happen to make money. They just think they're going to show up and they're going to throw a meal out on a table and just because somebody's given them five bucks, they're going to make money. I remember a quote, I can't remember who said it, <clears throat> but you know you don't need a master's in business admin to know how to lose money. Of course the other side of it is, is you could have a master's in business admin and you still lose money. See I wear this around my wrist every day. and. My focus is we are a for-profit organization. Any questions? We are a for-profit business. We are a for-profit restaurant. It's got to be focused on black ink, making money, staying away from decisions that cause you to bleed red ink. It's got to be doing the right things at the right times, making the right decisions, putting in the right systems, but probably more than anything, it's got to be where you get pissed off when you lose money. I don't see people getting pissed off when they lose money. We go to restaurants that are failing. They'll call us. We do an on-site visit. I'm sitting here talking to the owners or I'm talking to the managers. And I'll say, well, you called us down here because you're losing money. How much you losing a month? I don't know. You don't know? How, how do you not know? How do you not know how much money you're losing a month? Well, I'd have to look it up. So then they kind of toil around and they look it up. And for the life of me, I can't wrap my head around how you could have somebody that's losing a hundred thousand dollars a year not know they're losing a hundred thousand dollars a year but let me make that worse we've had people calling us that are losing a hundred thousand dollars a month and they're not even pissed off we had a person a few weeks ago call our office with his business consultant he was the CEO and his business consultant calls us with the, the conference call. They're talking to me about the money they're losing. They're losing $100,000 a month. So we go to schedule when I could get out there. Now, this discussion was happening in May. They said they would like to see if they could work the schedules for August or September. They're losing $100,000 a month. I don't know. Is tomorrow too fast? Is tomorrow too fast? I mean, you're losing $100,000 a month and you're wanting to talk about three months down the road for us to come out? To me, that's mind numbing. We've had clients, dozens of clients, where I look at the business and I am talking to the owners and the managers and I can tell they don't care. And I get into the process of how much money you lose them. And they'll, once they figure it out, they'll give me the number. Oh, I'm losing 20000 a month. Oh, I'm losing 8000 a month. Oh, I'm losing 40000 a month. And then when I say to them, let me give you a piece of advice. Here's what I think you need to do. You need to close the door of the restaurant, 
fire all the employees, turn off all the utilities and electricities, get rid of all the vendors. You need to come here and stand out the front door of your restaurant with a pile of $10 bills. Every customer that walks up to you, hand them a $10 bill and say, I would lose less money if you just went and ate someplace else. You'd be ahead what you're doing right now. And they look at me, they, most of the smart ones, the light turns on. Wow, you're kidding. No, I know how many customers you have. I can see it on your POS. I know that if you handed every customer 10 bucks, you would cut your monthly losses in half. You'd be ahead of the game. You don't have to work. Now you don't have to lose 40000 a month. You're only losing 20000 a month, but you're not working for it. So to answer your question, what is the biggest cause of failure? They're not passionate about making money. They don't wake up and say, I'm heck or high water, I'm making money. I'm doing what it takes to make money. I get more upset about it. You can probably even see it now because I get so upset about losing money, even when it's not mine, that I can't hardly take it. I'm sitting here talking to these people on the phone initially, and then when I see them face to face, I mean, I, I've had several people over my career, why do you get so intense? I just can't wrap my head around how it's possible that that's okay. And I'll tell you one thing I don't think they see. I don't think they see that they're responsible for their employees' mortgages. I have my employees. I feel responsible to provide them a place where they can work, where they can make a living, so that they can pay for their cars, and they can pay for where they live, and they can pay for their food, and they can reach the goals they want to reach. They can do the things they want to do. I feel responsible as a business owner to make sure I am good enough so I can make money in my business so that I can provide them financial opportunity. But see, I think in most instances, these people that are losing this kind of money, they don't feel responsible for their employees. And I bet if you ask their employees, their employees would tell you that. Nah, they don't care about us. Well, yeah, I know they don't care about you because when the business closes up, you're all out of jobs. That drives me crazy to the point where I can't take it. And to me, that is the biggest cause for restaurant failure. Now, there are several things that happen not serving the customer, not controlling food costs, not controlling labor costs, paying too much for the building. Several things that happen that have that all roll up into them losing money. But the biggest thing is they don't care enough to make money.